My name is Andrew Smith. I come from Cape Town in South Africa where I run an e-commerce business called Yuppie Chef. And I've been here for the last month at ALU in, in a couple of different departments. Uh, the one being uh, the d data and decisions uh, course where I've been running a business uh, modeling module there. So the reason that I think I was invited here to be involved in business modeling is that our company Yuppie Chef has real data. So uh, we are a real going concern and, and we wanted to use some of that data in the class with students because a lot of the times when you're working on data there will be some theoretical uh, data set or uh, some problem that you're solving wh that you never really know what it's what it's going to end up being and so I think me being here was to be able to put a, a challenge to the students and we, we took some data that our customers had, had given us and said well let's try and analyze this and then I'm going to be here to let you know either is it practical? Are the, the solutions that you're coming up with or the analysis that you're making, uh, does that relate to the real world? The highlight of my experience has, has been just seeing everyone at ALU having such a clear vision of what they want to do. And you know, vision is something that's important for us and, and it's been, been great for me to be here and see how an organization knows what they want. It's, it's about transforming Africa through training leaders and, and through all the hard times when people have to work really hard and move country and, and give up so much, uh, seeing an organization aiming for one vision together is, is inspiring. Yeah, so my ALU moment was uh, when the class of about 30 students introduced themselves and said what countries they were from. And I think there were about 20 countries that were represented. And I don't think I've ever been in one room with that many people from that many different countries, certainly not African countries. And, you know, we, we live so much of our lives uh, in our own silos of people. And to have that many people together with the same goal in mind, they're all here for the same reason. Uh, that was, yeah, that was pretty mind blowing. Mauritius has been a, it's been a really interesting place. It's, um, it, it's, it's so diverse and there's so many, uh, there's so many different people from different countries and, and languages and, and religions and, uh, and to be here in a place which it, it does feel like it belongs to everybody. You know, it's not, there aren't the, the sort of uh, one group of people who've been here for thousands of years and others that have been here for a short while. It does seem like a, a very young country that is very tolerant just by the fact that it is, um, it, it is, it is young in a way. And uh, I think that I, we've enjoyed seeing, seeing, living in a different place and seeing something different. and. Uh, and some crazy things um, and, and some things that are very normal. There's a lot of South Africans here and, and a lot of South African products and brands and stores and then also things that we would never encounter in, in our daily life. One of the, the most important things that I tell people uh, the, is just to start and, and that's something which I'm, I'm very grateful for. I look back on the moments that we made the decision of okay let's do this, let's step out and do it even though we didn't know it was perfect and and then a lot can happen over time as you learn and as you improve. And, uh, and so that's something which has is, is been, uh, been key in my life. Is, and even when this opportunity came up, it was it's like, well, let me take it. Let me take the opportunities. Let me say yes to things because that's generally when the good things happen in, in life. So that's probably my, my first bit of um, input and, and advice that I gave. Uh, there's been a lot of challenges. And, and as a young person starting and, and employing people often who are older than you, have got more experience than you, and needing to have a confidence um, in, in your vision and what you're trying to achieve in the company and also being hopefully as certain as, as you can be in your own abilities and, and what do you bring um, because my, my feelings about team and is that it is about everyone bringing their best and knowing and, and confident about that and then honoring the best that everyone else brings and, and then things like age or experience or, or it shouldn't matter um, as long as you, you know who you are and what you're bringing.